Hello, my name is Rohan Paul and very welcome to my computer vision and deep learning YouTube channel. Let's get started. In this quick video, I will talk about the lazy linear module of PyTorch and a very simple use case of this. And the important key points of this module from the official documentation is that in this module, the weight and bias are of torch.nn.uninitialized parameter class. They will be initialized after the first call to forward is done and the module will become a regular torch.nn.linear module. The in features argument of the linear is inferred from the input.shape minus one. This is the most important th uh, thing here. That is the in features argument of this of this layer will be inferred. So I do not have to explicitly provide it. Let's quickly see an example. Let's look at this very simple neural network architecture here, which has mainly two layers one is uh, the conv layer here and another one is the fully connected layer and uh, when we create a model we have to calculate the size of the first fully connected linear layer so here as we can see this uh, this feature x in feature uh, this would be the number of neurons in the first linear layer and i I am supposed to input it here. Now the question is how do I get this number? Do I need to keep track of the shape of the output tensor from all these layers? So, so figure that out here. We can definitely do that by implementing the formula. And uh, that formula would be something like this, that um, output shape would be defined by this formula. This is a classic formula in a, in a neural network where I is the size of the input neuron, K is kernel size, P padding and S equal to stride. But we do not say, we do not want to do that. I want this one, uh, this number X in feature to be inferred by the model itself from this architecture. And that's where the lazy linear module comes to help so what i can do here just replace this nn dot linear with lazy linear so l a z y and then take this one out completely because that will be inferred and keep 512 as it is that is all and now these in features will be inferred just like what the documentation said very clearly that uh, in the case of lazy linear, the in features argument of the linear is inferred from input dot shape minus one. And now another useful trick so when uh, fetching pretend models from PyTorch image models a module that is team team package. Let's see an example. So a uh, pattern that we often see many people use this is this uh, that is I'm here I'm creating a model with team dot create model and then supplying my model name which is coming from another class uh, named CFG and pre-trained will also be defined somewhere separately outside this class so, I mean normally it's uh, it's just um, true in this case and um, then i define number of features model that classifier and end identity and finally these fully connected layer with uh, where i define the in features and also the target size and here as well uh, lazy linear can help to make it more compact and make it uh, more reusable let's see how so in this case i can replace all these individual lines of self with these lines self.model then I do create model usually and uh, CFG the model name pretend to number of classes zero all works fine. Then in self.fc I bring in lazy linear and here I just input the target size which comes from the CFG class which is defined somewhere else outside of this uh, class and from there I get a target size. And uh, what exactly is happening in these lines are that when I mention num classes equal to zero, it tells these uh, uh, team to return a pooled feature vector. The size of this vector can vary between architectures. For example, if I am using ResNet 34, uh, this will be 512. If I'm using EfficientNet B0, this will be 1280 and uh, then th the point is lazy linear will determine what the input size is and create a normal linear layer accordingly 
So this, this will allow me to quickly switch architectures. For example, here, for if I want to change the architecture each time, I have to mention quite a few things separately. But here, lazy linear model will help me quite a lot in inferring the, uh, the in features for me. And also this model name, model name come from a separate configuration file, for example, a config file or something like that which will make this kind of structure more reusable. Now, important point to remember again that uh, the weights and bias uh, for under the lazy linear will be of uh, the type torch.nn.uninitialized parameter class. They will be initialized after the first call to the forward function is done. And then this module will become a regular torch.nn.linear module. And obviously the in features argument of the linear is inferred in this case. And that pretty much wraps up this video and over the coming days I will do many such videos on common techniques and tips of PyTorch while doing deep learning projects. So do subscribe and smash the like button. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.